the thin ice. It Jeez, happens. Walmart is playing some jams. Uh, you gotta sleep in a little bit. Yeah, I probably could have slept down a little longer, honestly, but yeah. We hunted work. last night, but, and left all the stuff in the trailer, so, I mean, it's gonna be really easy to set up, but they were in here about 8.30 yesterday, so we just wanted to be set up and make sure we had plenty of time. Yeah, they're probably gonna change. They've been doing some wacky stuff the past couple of weeks. But, oh well, you can only try until you hit it to where they're sticking to the same pattern, then you just absolutely murder them because they're migrating. Alright guys, we're driving into the field right now. Luckily the farmer let us drive in here, but the main thing we're doing is just looking for tracks. We know we've got a few grass lines to hide in, so we're going to do a little bit of scouting right now. We saw where they were sitting yesterday, but tracks can tell you more than what you see with the eye when they're in the field. It can be hard to figure out where they're really concentrated. So looking for tracks right now in the snow, and we're going to set up as close to the concentration. I mean, there's tracks literally everywhere out here. How are, is there anything against using snow cover since we brought them? No. Uh -huh. What are you thinking? Those teeth walk right up under that tree to grab the beans underneath it. All right. I'm thinking we could put everything right here on the ridge and these are all tracks all up and down the ridge and that walk, that walk across is absolutely loaded with tracks. All right, and there's trees and stuff here. Yeah, let's do that. All right guys, we're all set up. I'm not gonna go through the whole spread. We'll probably talk about that after if we end up killing them pretty good. Like I said, we were hunting a field probably a mile from here last night. Seemed like all the birds from that feed ended up in here. Got permission to it, 800 to 1,000 birds seems like and uh, we're pretty excited same really overcast day like it was yesterday they were in here about 8 30 they've been in here the past two days so should be awesome we're really looking forward to it got six guys can shoot 18 geese let's hope we can get it done in about an hour Good shot, Zach. Oh! B and T lane double country. Yeah. Hey, go get him, go get him. Get him, Zach, get him. <laughs> Ethan, tell me you got me crunching this one. I didn't. Out. That was cool how they did it. Oh yeah. They swung and swung and swung. But we got him. Good work. Good shot on that last one, Zach. I don't know if I got that or not, but. Oh, this poor goose got Good shot work. by me twice, once by Key Lane. Do we get, we got all five, I think. Sweet. We just had our first group come in. There were six of them. We let them land, get on the snow, and then uh, got them up and shot them. Yeah, they worked awesome. Put it down right where we wanted to. It's it's really hard to film because they're swinging around this tree because it was the only hide we really had out here. Geese should keep rolling all morning. If we can do that a couple more times, we're in the money. Well, Bryce is coming back out because he had to go to work. I think he's going to sit a while longer and hopefully kill his three geese and go to work. <laughs> <laughs> to our left, too. The last group we had landed long out past the last decoy. We got this side really beefed up trying to keep their eyes off us. We're going to take that mass, move it over here and try to put the geese down right here.
Good shot. I didn't even close it. There's a bigger chair left. Good stay in. Or yeah, all right. <laughs> Centered up. We're having a little bit of trouble finishing these geese, but we've got more coming from the lake. We got a bunch of geese around. I'm I'm not worried about finishing, but uh, we're just trying not to educate birds. We got the whole rest of the season, so we're gonna try to keep birds in tight. We've got eight. We need ten more. We're gonna finish out here, hopefully. All right, here we go. How many did we get? I'm on him. Kill him, boys. at the limit so we're done geese are flying sorry I just ran but that last group was saucy killed a band out of it couldn't ask for a better hunt really didn't have to educate a lot of birds we, we passed a bunch of shots that we could have killed some geese these geese stick around and we got three more weeks left the season so we're trying to get them in tight and kill them good so we're gonna get this all picked up try to be out of here in 30 minutes before the birds come back they won't see anything. I'm sure they'll pile back in this field here in a week. Awesome hunt. Nice job. That's sick. All right, we're drawn from the band. It's between Zach, Pierce, and myself. What color is it? Blue. Blue. Second man this season. Pierce got it. <laughs> Pierce always gets them. God dang, Pierce. <laughs> right there, baby. Hey, Pierce, oh, right now, there. You, now you have one for your wing. <laughs> yeah. No. Kill Out getting breakfast, Pierce is checking on his band. I said 2017, Canada. What's your guess, Julian? 2014. 2014? Ty? And you're saying Iowa? All right. What do you think, Pierce? I'm saying we'll go 14 and out of Minnesota. What's your guess on age, Zach? 
2016, Missouri. Wow. And August, August 3rd, 2018, hatched in 2017 or earlier in Iowa, Appanoose County, Iowa. Not bad. Ooh, I got Iowa. All right, guys, I'm gonna start putting a lot of these tips and tricks at the end of the video. Like I said, we don't know exactly what we're doing, but we try to kill geese and we've learned a few things. So I'm just gonna talk about what we did today and hopefully you guys can learn something. Hopefully it helps you guys on your next goose hunt. All right, so as you can see, we're hunting over a cut bean field here. And a lot of times when the snow's on, if they can't get the snow melted, they'll come to these bean fields. You can see there's some fresh pods right there all sprinkled throughout this field there's places where the combine missed we were going to hide in these grass strips right here but we were really worried about being down in the ditch so we decided we were going to hunt with this tree right here as you can see in the video there were several groups that just couldn't get down in time they don't have a whole lot of wind the wind was blowing from the right of your screen to the left of your screen a lot of the decoys are picked up but we put a pod of decoys right here on this high spot and a pot of decoys on that high spot. And there were geese tracks all in this. We had a lot of decoys over on this side and the first groups were wanting to land on this side. So we moved a big pot of decoys from here over here and the last group did it just right in here. So like I said, we don't know everything we're talking about. We're just trying to help you guys kill some geese. It's what we did, it's what worked. This field also had 800 to 1,000 birds in it, and pretty much any decoy spread probably would have killed geese. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Some of the best decoying we've had all year. Hit the subscribe button. Follow us in the links in the description below. And don't act like these hilligans. We'll see ya. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm walking back to get the truck. I just wanted to say thank you again, guys, for all you guys that watch the videos. It makes it so much fun for me. I get to come out and hunt, make a video that you guys enjoy. This is one of those hunts I'll probably never forget. Hopefully we've got a few more like it this year, but thanks again for everything you guys do. I love making these videos and I love hunting and I love that I get to do it most days. So hope you guys all have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.